through Zipboard, you can review websites, web apps, e-learning courses, images, videos, and PDF documents. You can share reviews using annotations, markups, and screen recordings, and you can track and report issues. For submittal reviews, you can start to add your documents here. There are three ways to do so. First, you'll click the Add button, and you can upload it directly with your PDF. You can upload your URL. Or, another method of adding files is through our API system. Every time a document is added to your current document management system, you can trigger the API to add it to a project in Zipboard as well. Now it's time to add your collaborators. You can do this at any phase of your project. To do so, you want to click the Collaborators tab on the left side and click Add Collaborators. Here you can enter their email and you can add as many people as you would like and you can also include a message. Below there is an invite link to send them through other means. Once you have the collaborators added, they can go into the project and you can assign specific people tasks here. Once it's assigned to them, they can update the status here. When it's time to make your markups, you can find all of the tools here on the left hand side the arrow, the rectangle, the pencil, the eraser, and much more. When you're ready to start making an annotation, you can choose the section that you want to call out and use one of the markup tools to do so. Here I'm using the rectangle and targeting a specific piece of this PDF. Here I can add my comment. And once the comment has been made, you can then edit with the pencil tool or delete it with the trash can tool, and you can leave a reply. All of the comments will be on the right hand side, labeled under tasks, and you can search for them once there becomes a variety. By clicking on the tasks on the right hand side, you can go directly to it and then leave a reply. and here you have it. You can also hide the replies that's written in the green. On the left hand side, there's an option to hide all pop-ups and show all pop-ups. And this will change how you can print or save your PDF. If you choose to keep all the pop-ups, it will print and save that way. And if you choose to hide them, then it'll just keep the original document. When it's time to share your content to external consultants, you can click the share button in the top right. Here you can see there are three different guest permissions. Require sign up and login to view all boards and reviews, not just their own reviews, but other people's feedback and create your own feedback. For many guests, you may just want to turn the last one on so they can quickly add their feedback without seeing the rest. Here you have the URL to share to them and you can also invite them by email. With Zipboard, you can manage your review cycles in order to keep your projects organized. In the Tasks tab on the left side, you can view your assignments in the Table view or in the Kanban view. And here I've created phases to assign to different people so they can review at the right time. When you click on the assignment, you can assign it to someone and that person can then edit the status as they continue on with the project. Having this system means that your work flows well and you meet your deadlines. On the left hand side is the tasks bar and here you can see your tasks in a table view or in the Kanban view. If you want to find out more details about a specific task, you can go ahead and click on it. Here you can see details such as comments that were made, such as this one, and the details such as the title, the description, you can reassign it to someone and change the status. And you can see other details like the priority, the due date, the phase, and more. You can also have a feed of comments here at the bottom and a description. And if you're searching for a specific comment, 
you can also search that in the table view. On the right hand side is the filters button. This way you can find a specific task very quickly based on the phase, the file, the screen, who it's assigned to, and much more filters. By clicking on these, I'm narrowing it down to what I'm specifically looking for. Once you think you are done with your project, you've gone through all the comments, you've gone through the annotations, and you're ready to add your stamp or your signature, you can do this with the toolbar on the left-hand side. Here you have your stamp options. You can add your signature, but we already have a stamp uploaded. You can place it into your project and resize it. And then you can choose how you would like to check mark it and in which boxes. You can also add a timestamp. And you can print this with the stamp on it, already checked off, and added the timestamp. Companies that use Zipboard see an overall return on investment within five months. Zipboard customers also save an average of 30% time on their digital development. Choose Zipboard and sign up now.